Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're looking at six steps to creating a minimalistic Power BI dashboard based on some inspiration, the tools we use, how we go about preparing this and so on. So first of all, we're going to look to replicate this Power BI dashboard I've built, which is actually based upon inspiration that I saw from a, a UI dashboard on Dribble. Dribble is a great site if we want to navigate through and regularly look for inspiration um, to present our dashboards in a way that would entice end users, increase buy-in with stakeholders, or just communicate our information really effectively. So this design initially sprung out of me. I thought it was quite nice and minimalist. It's got good roots for navigation. Um, I liked the sort of color theme and a great way to, to entice end users and present information in a clear and concise way. So the next thing I would be looking to do was to choose my tools. So maybe I want to build up the visuals ahead of time and some of the shapes and improve some of the visual rendering in Power BI. Maybe I want to plan ahead, but really figuring out the sort of add-on images is gonna, we can build our, our data visualization, our information around that. So the first thing I'd be looking to do is choose my tools. Usually I use Canva, very effective, very simple for images, making things like navigation bars, uh, gradient color schemes, custom text. I like Leto, it's available there. I think it's a Google font text. And I also use PowerPoint for the eyedropper tool to, to effectively color match nice and simply. So maybe you've wireframed or planned, sketched, whatever, you've got a loose design together. You now need to figure out how to implement solid data visualization principles. So here's some I've thought about here. The items are grouped together by proximity. Uh, there's spatial management, there's no hard borders. We've implemented that F reading pattern. So people take in the information at the top left of the screen and into the center of the screen that's the most important and the bottom right and so on will be uh, usually um, not picked up on as much. The 10 second rule, can people get key information within 10 seconds? Contrast, squint test, can people read your titles with a squint? Are they large enough? Display a clear overview of figures and a path to more granular view. So even if this is minimalistic on the face of it, we give people a clear navigation to dig down into the detail. And by not overloading them straight away, you actually increase buy-in and entice them to scroll through your dashboard. So let's say now we've started to figure out the design and we're in the Power BI desktop environment and we now need to build a layout. So it's very intimidating to stare at a blank canvas space. Um, you can also build this layout outside of Power BI if you want. I, I did it in here because I had some, for example, this arrows activated by DAX and I wanted to keep it as simple for this tutorial. But you can build a layout with shapes and icons because then everything starts to take shape and it's much easier to envisage where you're going to place your information and visualizations. And you start to see everything come to life and sometimes that first initial steps are the hardest. Which brings us on to step five, choosing your visuals and DAX insights. So we've chosen relevant visuals for an overview, you know, cards, there's a time-based line chart, um, we've given people opportunity to navigate, to even go outside of the Power BI environment. We've given them top insights for top new suppliers, for example. Now we'll give them some DAX so we can give them conditional icons so they know what a good figure is actually month on month. Um, you can look at the right visuals. So usually in an overview, you'll be looking at bar and line charts, cards and so on. Um, get your DAX to correctly aggregate insights. You can see within that gradient shape we created in Canva, we've got the max monthly sales at the bottom center of the screen. We can give people personal DAX greetings just to give them that nice bit of a, of a human touch there. So all these little steps are forming together um, to create a very minimalistic dashboard, but usually these small steps um, are actually, or the simplest looking reports are some of the most powerful. Now, the next steps that we'd be looking to implement after this, we want to expand on our navigation, give people potentially custom tooltips in Power BI, um, metrics that they can drill down on and see at the required level of granularity, further DAX insights, um, and yeah, just continue to flesh this out um, and get some really great detail in there. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.